Welcome back to Sunday Live. Tonight on Who Owns Kenya, we feature East African breweries EABL. The company traces its roots all the way back to 1922 when Kenya Breweries was founded by two brothers, George and Charles Hurst. Kenya Brewery's first, produ first product rather, was Kenya Lager, a beer that was later rebranded to Tusker Lager, which is EABL's most lucrative beer brand to date. Ironically, Tusker Lager derives its name from a rather unfortunate incident. One of the founders of Kenya Breweries, Captain George Hurst, was killed by an enraged elephant while on a hunting trip along the Tanzanian coast. Now, following this unfortunate incident, the young brewery rebranded the top product to the current iconic elephant tusks to date associated with Tusker. The company has since then diversified its product offering to over, one, to over 11 beer brands across East Africa as well as spirits and wines leveraging on Diageo, its largest shareholder. The company, which was listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange in 1934 as EABL, is the most valuable company on the NSE valued at over 350 billion shillings. The company has an annual turnover of 55.5 billion shillings and annual profits surpassing 15 billion shillings. Now, last year, the company paid over 6 billion shillings to its shareholders. So, who exactly owns East African breweries? Well, London-based firm Diageo PLC owns a controlling stake in the company through two subsidiaries, Diageo Kenya Limited, which owns 42.8% of the company, valued at over 143 billion Kenya shillings. The second subsidiary is Diageo Holdings Netherlands, which owns 4.5% of the company, valued at 15 billion shillings. Now, in third position is the National Social Security Fund, NSSF, which owns 4.5% of the company, valued at 15 billion shillings. In fourth position is Standard Chartered Bank Nominees Limited, which owns 2.8% of the company, valued at 9.4 billion shillings. And in fifth position is Guinness Overseas Limited, owning 2.6% of the company, valued at 8.7 billion shillings. Let's now take a deeper look at the company's footprint across the region. EABL owns eight other companies, including Kenya Breweries, Kenya Maltings, East Africa Maltings, Central Glass Limited, and its export arm EABL International in Kenya. The company also owns 98.2% of Uganda breweries and 51% of Serengeti breweries. Of note is EABL's production of the Ugandan traditional brew, Waragi, that unlike Kenyan traditional brews, is manufactured and packaged through Uganda breweries. EABL also owns a 46% stake in United Distillers and Vintners Limited. The company has, over, has, however, relinquished its shareholding in Tanzania breweries that was held through an agreement with South African firm SAB Millers. Under the agreement, EABL had offered SAB Miller a 20% stake in Kenya breweries for a similar stake in Tanzania breweries and a mutual agreement for both brands to pull out of each other's respective markets following a heated beer war in the 90s. The agreement has, however, since been broken with the two competitors now taking on each other for a share of East Africa's beer market. EABL employs over 1,000 people across East Africa and holds production contracts with over 26,000 farmers for key ingredients used in manufacturing of its products.